Welcome, fellow mystery seekers, to another episode of Mystery Connections, where we unravel the fascinating mysteries that our world holds. We dive deep into the unexplained, exploring the line between the known and the unknown, between fact and folklore. Today, we are venturing into the dark, eerie swamplands of Bengal to unravel a captivating enigma that has baffled locals and scientists alike, the Alea Ghost Lights. Strap in for an enthralling journey as we navigate between the realms of science and the supernatural. Let the exploration begin. Scene script. Have you ever heard of the Alea Ghost Lights? Picture this. The dark Bengal wetlands under a starlit sky and all of a sudden, a luminous sphere appears floating above the marshes. This isn't a scene from a fantasy novel, but a real occurrence in the swamplands of Bengal. These are the Alea Ghost Lights a fascinating yet eerie spectacle that has captivated the locals and visitors alike. Now, every light has a story and the Alea ghost lights are no different. According to local legend, these are not just lights, but the wandering souls of fishermen who met an untimely end in the marshes. It's believed that these spectral illuminations are their lingering spirits seeking solace and trying to guide others away from sharing their fate However, the lights are said to hold a perilous allure. They are known to entice the unsuspecting travelers, luring them into the treacherous marshland. The stories tell of those who, bewitched by these lights, ventured too close and were never heard from again. Others, it is said, were driven to madness, their minds unraveled by the uncanny spectacle. But it's not just the locals who have been intrigued by these lights. Over the years, the Alea ghost lights have been a subject of interest for paranormal enthusiasts, curious travelers, and even scientists. The phenomenon has sparked countless discussions, theories, and even a few scientific investigations. The Alea ghost lights, with their ethereal beauty and deadly allure, are a remarkable enigma, a blend of local folklore and natural wonder. They are a testament to the magic and mystery that our world still holds. Places yet unexplored, phenomena yet unexplained. The swamplands of Bengal, with their unique blend of natural beauty and eerie legends, offer a tantalizing mystery. And the Alia ghost lights, with their haunting allure, are a quintessential part of this enigma. Now that you know the legend, let's delve into what science has to say about these enigmatic lights. Science often holds the key to understanding the world's most mysterious phenomena and the Alea ghost lights of Bengal's wetlands are no exception. The eerie, enigmatic glow that these lights emit isn't from the restless souls of departed fishermen, but rather from a far more earthly source, the complex process of decay and chemical reactions. Let's delve a little deeper into the science behind this. The wetlands of Bengal are rich in organic materials. When these materials decay, they produce a variety of gases, including methane, phosphine, and phosphorus pentoxide. Now, these gases are not only odorous, but also quite volatile. They have a propensity to catch fire or glow when they come into contact with oxygen. This is where the oxidation process comes into play. Oxidation is a chemical reaction that involves the moving of electrons from one substance to another. In the context of the Alea ghost lights, when the gases produced by decaying organic matter rise to the surface and come into contact with oxygen, they undergo oxidation. This reaction releases energy in the form of light, creating a spectral glow in the air, which we perceive as the ghost lights. But there's more. The ionization of these gases also plays a crucial role. Ionization is the process by which an atom or a molecule acquires a negative or positive charge by gaining or losing electrons. In the case of the Alea ghost lights, the ionization of the gases contributes to the intensity and the glow of the lights. So, we have decaying organic matter producing volatile gases, which rise to the surface, come into contact with oxygen, undergo oxidation and ionization, and voila, you have your ghost lights. A rather scientific explanation for what seems to be a paranormal phenomenon, don't you think? As we can see, what seems to be a paranormal phenomenon can often be explained by natural processes. 
and in the case of the Alea ghost lights, it's a fascinating blend of chemistry and physics, showing us once again that sometimes science can be just as mesmerizing as a ghost story. But what about the different colors of the Alea ghost lights, you might wonder? Well, let's dive into that. These ethereal illuminations, the Alea ghost lights, are not confined to a single hue. Instead, they display an array of colors, each as mesmerizing as the next. This kaleidoscopic phenomenon can be attributed to the variety of gases produced in the wetlands. As the organic matter in the marshland decomposes, it releases different types of gases. Each of these gases, when it comes into contact with oxygen, undergoes a unique chemical reaction. This reaction, through the process of oxidation and ionization, results in the release of energy in the form of light. The specific color of the light emitted is determined by the type of gas involved. For instance, methane, a gas commonly produced in wetlands, can emit a soft, bluish glow. On the other hand, phosphine and diphosphane gases, also products of decomposition, can produce green or yellowish lights. The interplay of these variegated lights against the dark, marshy backdrop creates an eerily beautiful spectacle, enhancing the enigma of the Alea ghost lights. But it's not just about the visual spectacle. These colors also carry information about the wetlands' ecological health. The presence of certain colors could indicate the type and amount of organic matter in the wetlands and even the level of pollution. The multitude of colors also adds another layer of complexity to the local folklore. Each color is said to represent a different emotion or message from the spirits of the departed fishermen, further deepening the mystery and allure surrounding the Alea ghost lights. So you see, the varied colors of the Alea ghost lights are not just a feast for the eyes. They are a testament to the intricate interplay of nature's elements, a window into the health of our environment, and a canvas for cultural narratives and local lore. So the incredible array of colors is just another fascinating aspect of this natural spectacle. Interestingly, the Alea ghost lights are not unique to Bengal's wetlands. Ghost light phenomena are a global occurrence, with each culture offering its own unique interpretation and folklore. In the British Isles, for instance, we find the Will-o'-the-Wisp, a similar ghost light phenomenon. These mysterious lights, also known as Ignis Fatuus or Fool's Fire, have been reported in marshy areas and are said to lead travelers astray. Much like the Alea lights, they are believed to be spirits or fairies attempting to lure people into danger. However, the science behind it is similar to the Alea lights, the oxidation of gases from decomposing organic matter. Across the Atlantic in North America, we encounter the spooky Marfa lights of Texas. These lights, unlike the Alea or Will-o'-the-Wisp, are often spotted in the desert rather than marshlands. They dance, split apart, merge, disappear and reappear, and no definitive scientific explanation has been given for their existence. Some theories suggest they could be atmospheric reflections of vehicle headlights or campfires, while others propose more exotic explanations like UFOs or paranormal activity. Moving to Australia, we meet the Min Min lights, mysterious luminescent balls that follow people in the remote outback. Aboriginal myths suggest they could be spirits, while others believe they might be a form of bioluminescence or a strange atmospheric phenomenon. Despite the geographical and cultural differences, all these phenomena share a common thread. They are lights that appear in the darkness, often associated with marshy or remote areas and are shrouded in mystery and folklore. Yet the scientific explanations where they exist often point to natural causes, gases, reflections, or atmospheric conditions. It's fascinating to see how different cultures interpret similar natural phenomena. Whether they are the restless spirits of the departed, playful fairies, or simply the result of natural processes, ghost lights continue to bewitch us with their eerie beauty and the tantalizing mystery they represent. Despite the scientific explanation, many theories and speculations still surround the Alea ghost lights. This intriguing phenomenon, shrouded in the mists of the Bengal wetlands, has inspired a plethora of hypotheses, each one more fascinating than the last. 
One popular theory revolves around the supernatural. According to local lore, the lights are the trapped souls of fishermen who met with untimely ends in these very wetlands. It's said these spirits now use the lights to lure the living, leading them astray, causing them to lose their way or worse. Then, there's the cultural interpretation. Some believe the lights are manifestations of the goddess, Alea. In this view, the lights serve as a divine warning to the living, a celestial caution against the perils of the wetlands. It's a belief that binds the community together, a tale passed from generation to generation, infusing the lights with a sense of the sacred. However, not all theories are steeped in the mystical. Some alternative scientific hypotheses suggest that the ghost lights could be attributed to plasma, created by the intense heat and pressure in the marshy terrain. Others point to the possibility of bioluminescent organisms, similar to fireflies, that could be responsible for the ethereal glow. Then there's the theory of St. Elmo's fire, a weather phenomenon that causes a luminous plasma to appear on pointed objects during thunderstorms. Could the unique atmospheric conditions of the Bengal wetlands facilitate this occurrence, resulting in the haunting Alea ghost lights? Each theory, whether rooted in science or steeped in folklore, adds a layer of intrigue to the Alea ghost lights. They transform the phenomenon from a simple natural occurrence into an enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved. While science provides us with a logical explanation, the aura of mystery surrounding the Alea ghost lights continues to captivate us. Whether they are the souls of lost fishermen, divine warnings, or merely the result of natural gases, the Alea ghost lights remain a mesmerizing spectacle, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown.